Please raise your hand if you've ever had an x-ray taken at the hospital. Almost everyone. Great, thanks. Now raise your hand if you've ever had an MRI. Wow, a lot less common. X-ray and MRI are two ways to get images of the inside of your body without having to open you up. However, X-rays give you a harmful dose of unwanted radiation, whereas MRIs do not. Right now, one of the biggest barriers to the use of MRI is that it's very expensive. MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging, and the main part of an MRI machine is a big magnet with a magnetic field that we slide you into to get the image. Your body is more than half water, and each water molecule, H2O, has two hydrogens and one oxygen atom. The magnetic field in the MRI machine aligns the spins of the abundant hydrogen atoms inside your body. Now, the next thing you'll know if you have ever had an MRI is that they are very loud. There are lots of whirring and clanking noises, and many people find this combined with having to remain stationary in a confined environment for typically about half an hour to be very unsettling. These noises are caused by the field gradients, which are used to spatially encode the signal being received from the hydrogen atoms inside your body. That is, in order to create an image, we need to know which piece of information is coming from where. My research focuses on a new type of MRI, which spatially encodes the signal using radio frequency waves instead of field gradients. This would make MRI machines silent and less expensive which could lead to increased accessibility and a reduction in the wait times for these vital diagnostic images. This new type of MRI is called Transmit Array Spatial Encoding, or TRACE. I've designed a low field magnet for studying TRACE MRI, and you can see the design concept in the bottom right. My magnet has a magnetic field that's about a thousand times weaker than current clinical MRI machines, and it's also a lot smaller. It's only about one meter in length with a 50 centimeter diameter, so it can't image humans. But what it can do is offer an in-house low cost system for research institutions studying trace MRI. This access will speed up the optimization of this technique so it can go on to be developed for clinical MRI machines. The really cool thing about my magnet is that I've designed it to have a perfectly uniform field throughout its entire volume. This will make the images clearer and easier to create. My magnet aims to make studies of trace MRI more efficient so it can hopefully be developed for the clinical market, making MRI machines cheaper and more accessible, not to mention silent.